Hello, Paul is the best for UK here and welcome to tonight's Game of Day video. Every day September 2019, 6pm, a different Super Nintendo game on my channel. So this is Nigel Mansell's World Championship. So we've got Race Circuit, Mansell's Advice, Driving Practice, Full Season, Control, Password, Options. So we've got quite a few options right here. Let's have a look at the main options. So you can choose between Arcade or Simulation, Speed, Kilometres, Miles an Hour. I'm going to have Miles an Hour because that's what I'm most used to in the UK. So uh, yeah, let's have a look at Race Circuit. So now you get to choose your track, well your country, and I'm going to be Britain of course because that's where I am. And uh, yep, so we can go for Silverstone. You can do a tune up of your car. So you can choose your aero foil, you can have low, high, medium. We'll have low for that. Tires, hard, wet, soft. Hard tires, gear ratio. Have a medium gear ratio. Transmission, automatic or manual. So yeah, there we go. Now qualify. So we are now on to qualify stage. Now here we are. This reminds me of Super Monaco Grand Prix. So here we go. So yeah, this is sort of like a Super Monaco Grand Prix or Vroom, V-R-O-O-M on the Amiga. Sort of, sort of look. Whoa, it's quite fast. The uh, engine noise from the uh, Formula One car sounds quite realistic, actually. Not, that's quite impressive. And so is the speed of the game, actually. It's quite loud there. But you can see the horizon in the background. So I'm just doing a qualifying lap at the moment. So I'm doing 195 miles an hour. Jesus, that's fast. Okay, slow down for the bends, of course. Here we go. Yeah, the game responds well to the controls. Oh, there is some hills in it, so that's quite quite good. This is not using mode 7 by the looks of it. So the SNES is quite capable of doing racing games without using mode 7 as well. Straight on we go. Watch out for this bend. I'm going through a tunnel now. Oh, this is based on Silverstone. I've actually been there to watch Ford Fair, actually. A few times. Well, not watch Ford Fair. Attend Ford Fair, should I say. Quite a good day out, that is, if you like Ford cars. Even if you don't like Ford cars, it's still a good, good day out. I love Ford cars. So we keep going. Okay, here we go. Watch out for this last bend, and then we should be on the finish line. There we go, checker flag is up. So that's my qualifying lap. Where's it where's it positioned me? Still at 12, so it was a very good lap to be honest. So let's go for the main race. You can actually change all that again at this point. Go for the main race now. I'm I'm at the back, so as you can see now all the other all the other drivers are on the track. Here we go. Let's go. See if I can beat him. Oh, I overtook him straight away. Watch out for this sharp bend here. Whoa. Try not to hit the other opponents, of course. Yeah, he runs at a reasonable fast rate. It doesn't slow down, even when there's other cars on the track. The obviously sprites, but scaled sprites, I think. Here we go. I overtake him. You can just about make out in the mirrors that you can see where they are as well, that's quite a clever touch. Nice fast straight there before you have to slow down for the bends. If you go hurtling down the bends, bends at 200 miles an hour you will crash of course, just like a real car. Shoot, slow down a bit for that bend. Yeah the mechanics are not too bad, That it's quite realistic actually. I've never driven I've never driven a Formula 1 car but it does feel quite realistic for a game of this vintage to be honest. Oh shit he's overtook me. Not for long now. So on the on the radar on the top left you can see your position in relation to the other drivers. You can see your speedometer on the on the right and your scores, best time and position and stuff at the top. It's a six lap race, I'm not gonna do all six lap race. Is. So yeah that's a uh, Nigel Mansell's World Championship on the Super Nintendo, quite a worthy uh, Formula 1 game to be honest, not too shabby. I'm going to give that a respectable 7 out of 10. Thank you for watching, goodbye!